hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelsey from Impressive Energy, ready to do a reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So place the sign in your birth chart anywhere you like. You could find messages in here for you. And cross watchers always welcome to my channel. If you're dealing with a Cancer, you could find messages in here for you too. So, let's see what we have. I'm going to start off with an oracle deck first, guys. Um, a beautiful deck called Postcards from Spirit. There's some gorgeous messages in here. But you need to hear for your highest good. And I feel like you all need one this week. So, um, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Let's connect energies. If you are returning, hi, welcome back, guys. I, re I really do appreciate all your support. Let's get messages for cancer, please. Oh, we shot two out at us straight away, so I'm going to take them. So, we have already pre shuffled and meditated on your energy. Um, looks like someone really wants to speak to you today. So, your first message, cancer. Dearest you. Going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting into more time will reap big rewards. Now is the time for you to act, to stir up some energy and put those plans into action. There are many windows of opportunity that open up, but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. Today, be confident that your hard work will pay off. <clears throat> Sorry. And you'll feel that satisfaction and fulfilment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out even better than you expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, However much work you're willing to put in, we will match it tenfold our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win the game of life, so just do it. Loving you so, so much. Wow, you know what, during your pre-shuffle, I've seen so much, whatever's going on in your environment at the moment, Cancer, there's so much divine timing at play. Like, there's so much, it's like completely, I feel like whatever's going on is completely out of your control right now. Um... If that means anything to you. So, your next message is, Dear you, the simple yet powerful law of cause and effect means that everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence. And even in this, even the spirit world, there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. Right now, you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions. Consequences are coming into being in your favour. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition will pay off. If some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can step beyond it just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reaching to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing? Oh, how we adore you. Oh, yeah. This soul... I was going to say even before, like, getting them messages from spirit i'm not even joking i was going to say like i feel like there's something cosmic going on in your energy like there's so much divine divine work at play honestly i can't stress that enough like it could be karmic reading you know listening to that one like it's like you're being rewarded you know you shouldn't fit people shouldn't fear karma um it's not you know it's not a thing it's not good or bad it's just it just is so whatever's about to be reaped I feel like it's coming in really good in your energy. Um, oh, sorry, I just kicked the chair there. But let's jump into tarot. Let's see what tarot wants to say. Let's get my skin to cancer, please. But there's your energy. Mm. What do we have for cancer, please? I feel like... I'm not gonna I don't want to speak too soon. Um wow, the devil. Yeah. There's someone here that they could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like there's someone here that you could have loved very, very much, or someone that could have loved you very much, maybe too much, obsessively. Um But there's also an energy of something being very toxic within an environment. Could be something to do with children involved. Tell you about cancer's energy, please. King of Pentacles, okay. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. But this is someone that's quite wealthy, someone that seems quite stable, um, quite good with money, has a good job. That's far too many spirit. Let's try one at a time, please. Let's carry on. What else do we have for Cancer's energy, please? Spirit? Thank you, wowzers. Wow. The King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This is major abundance here. This is 
something that you felt as though you was complete with. This could be something to do with the job. Almost, I'm getting more family. Um, right. Oh. This could be you, this King of Pentacles. You know, there is no um, gender in tarot. We all sit in our divine masculine and feminine energies. So I'll take it as it resonates, guys. Um, but I do see someone here being very stable. Wow, King of Swords. We've got two kings. We've got two energies here. Again, there's no gender. And we've got the two of wands. Someone, someone possibly had to make a very big decision. Some of you could have had to make a decision between two people or someone else. I don't really see much of your energy here, though, I'm not going to lie. I feel like this could be someone that you're connected to. That's made a decision, made a choice. Tell me more, please, for Cancer's energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Okay, the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> the Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's karma at play here. I feel like something's gone. I feel like something's gone down within a family environment, or something that you see as your ten, ten of pentacles. Um, this is you know like complete abundance. This is happy home, happy money, happy family, happy dogs. If you have pets, you know there's something to do with home life here. I feel like someone's made a decision that they, someone's stressing, someone's worried, someone's possibly not sleeping very well. And it's over. It's either over choosing someone. Or this choice has already been made. But someone wants to communicate something. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. But I feel like there's someone wanting to speak on a decision that's been made here with the two of wands. This is, you know, a path that's been chosen. A life path. Mm, well, fine. Like a big, a big, a judgment call has been made. Judge, it's been judgment time. Justice, justice is here. Justice is being served. There's karma here. There's karmic lessons. Something to do with the soulmate energy. What's? I really hope this is making sense to you. Um, let's clarify. Let's see if we can find out all the detail. If this is making sense, please do let me know. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment, I love hearing the feedback. Hmm. Tell me about Cancer's energy, please. But I see healing for you. I see happiness, clarity, justice again. Could be dealing with a Libra. Let's clarify this energy, please. Is there something weighing heavy on your mind at the moment? Weighing heavy on your energy? I feel like it's about you you're about to feel some kind of major release. You won't the wheel of fortune. You you may not see this. You may be completely blind to this. But I really feel like this is possibly a decision that's either been made that was divinely guided, or there's one to be made. Maybe it's about leaving someone behind and starting again, starting fresh. But let's see. Tell me about this King of Pentacles, please. And Cancer's energy. What's this King of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Seven of Wands. Okay. Very well. The Ace of Cups and Judgment, right, so I feel like someone, I feel like this is possibly someone that you viewed as your stability, someone that you viewed as your, you know, that feeling of content, I feel like someone, we've got the Ace of Cups and Judgment, so I feel like someone made a very big decision, possibly to start something new with the Ace of Cups, something to do with love, emotion. There's something that someone's quite protective over, someone that's quite guarded over something to do with new love. Like you possibly had to make a very big decision. You could have found something out, maybe. <clears throat> Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles, please. It's like a judgment, judgment time on this Ten of Pentacles. Someone might have not... The Knight of Cups. Okay. The 
the King of Pentacles again. What on earth? The Ace of Wands. Oh, right, okay. I had a feeling the Hierophant. So, I feel like... Someone could have been... I feel like you could have maybe found out about someone talking to someone else. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, whoever you've seen as your, like I say, you know, as your stability, your comfort, I feel. Whether that be family member, partner or something. Someone possibly, I feel like someone started something new. Some passion fueled, but it was something to do with like messages. And this was happening. This was happening within a ten of uh, sorry ten of pentacles environment, like within a within a family home, within. I hope that's probably dealing with the Taurus. Tell me about this King of Swords, please. Okay, we've got the Three of Pentacles and Justice. So, so Justice is being served. This could be something to do with work. Um, for some of you, if someone slides you at work, like, oh, the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you're, you're receiving some kind of karmic reward here, or big time, but it's something to do with either your work or your money or your family, your stability. But we have seen the Two of Cups and now we've got a match, you know, we've got the King and Queen of Pentacles here, the King of Pentacles has come out twice, so I feel like... Look, I feel like justice is being served on something that's been started here. Possibly something to do with work or something. Something that you're receiving justice for and like turning away and then just turning your back because you're, I feel like you're going that way. <laughs> away from all of this. I feel like you're moving that way. Some of you could be coming into money here, you know. There could be something going on, some kind of legal situation going on to do with money, something to do with money. What, what two of cups again? Soulmate energy. There's a decision that someone's made that someone's holding on to, or at the moment, if it's not been made yet, someone doesn't want to make the decision yet. What the hell? Tell me about this two of ones, please. Thank you. The Knight of Swords, the Chariot, okay, that's your energy. You found something out, you found something out. The Knight of Swords has been, as someone could have come and told you something about something to do with the commitment or whoever this is up here, you know, this stability for you, your version of stability. Your partner in some way. You found something out. Someone's come, rush, come, come and rushed towards you and told you something about this person, which has made you get in a chariot and head on. You know, this is forward movement. But you found something out. This the night of stars, you know, this night comes rushing in with communication. It's fast moving communication. And it's something to do with truth, truth, honesty, clavita. And it's been some kind of lesson learned for you. You've you've gained some higher knowledge with the hierophant here. Could be dealing with the Taurus. But this, like I say, this could also be to do with some kind of higher level of commitment. I feel like someone's still gonna come back though. Someone's coming rushing in towards you, and this person's stressed. Up there, they have again, night once, twice. Someone's someone really wants to speak to you. 
let's find out what about. What's this Knight of Wands, please? Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Sorry about this Knight of Wands, please. Strong Aries energy. We've got the Fool and the Five of Wands. So yeah, I feel like someone's took a risk, and there could be arguments going on. There could be conflicts around this. The nine of wands. Someone's gonna. Someone really wants to tell you that they don't want to give up on something. I feel like someone's fucked up here over, within a within a relationship, within a situation. Someone's fucked up in some way, and you found this out, and it's like justice is being served now in your favour, and now this person's, they want to come and speak about, but they could be very passionate in what they want to say. They, they're not wanting to give up on whatever this is. They could be borderline playing a victim as well to a degree <clears throat> in whatever they're saying they're like you know the arguments they it could be all all me a little bit but i feel like someone's took a risk and that's what they want to speak about tell me about this nine of swords please tell me about this nine of swords cancer manager Yeah, someone's stressed now because you're looking like this. Look how abundant you are. Honestly, there's so much abundance coming your way and I feel like it's karmically deserved. Like, and it's going to make you... This is materialistic gain, you know, the Nine of Pentacles. It can be a materialistic gain. It's someone that chooses to self and they flourish in that. And someone's stressed over you in this energy I'm feeling. Or flip it, you know, by all means, this could be you stressed over somebody else in that energy. But... <clears throat> I'm getting it, someone stressed over you very much. Someone stressed over you receiving your just rewards. You know, sorry about this nine of swords. The five of swords. Yeah, they're not telling you this though. They're keeping this very much to themselves. Could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They're not sharing this this worry, this this stress that they're carrying over your success, over your abundance, over your beauty as well. You're looking absolutely gorgeous. The hangman, yeah, they're completely viewing they're viewing you differently. They regret something. They regret a decision that they made. Someone very much regrets the choice. Someone's made a decision, made a choice within with with something. And now they're completely regretting it because it's all turned around in your favour. And this was so, like, divinely guided. This was so meant to be. But yes, wow. Wowzers. Go you, Cancer. I love that reading for you. Um, that was quite a quick one, but that's what I have. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. If this did make sense, please do subscribe. Let me know. Like the video. Comment. Um, but I shall see you all in the next one, guys, I'm sure. Thank you so much.